Yeah, we just signed Bad Dreams from Adelaide. Um, Safi is an act that I signed uh, about a month or so ago. Um, I'm at the point where I'm not going all out signing every artist. I'm being actually really careful with who I sign and, and um, it's about the acts that I see that actually can go somewhere rather than you know, oh, I don't work with this style of artist, maybe I'll look at this style of artist. I'm, I'm really honing in on artists that I generally love and feel like they're going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Australian live music scene is really healthy. I think that there's a lot of opportunities for artists. Um, I do think that a lot of bands are doing the same thing as everyone else. So when I, like an act, um, let's say a punky act, right? Sees that we're all headache getting opportunities like Black Keys and stuff like that. So they'll kind of look at and copy whatever they do, which on paper works, but in reality doesn't work. And you're always, you know, if you're copying a, a, a specific act because um, they've gotten certain opportunities, you're always just going to ride their wave and you're never actually going to get past them or you're never going to actually develop your own wave that maybe other artists are going to copy you, for example. So I think that's a, a big issue. I think a lot of acts are just copying each other, doing the same sort of tours, not necessarily being creative or, or original. And I think that when acts start thinking creatively and differently, it's when boundaries are going to get pushed and it's going to better Australian music. This Get Up campaign about um, 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 sex equality. And um, the moment I heard it, I, I heard, I just, there was something different about this guy. And, um, and I met with, with Oliver and his manager at the time, and um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to start working with him. Really, the start was about building up his live show and supporting, like, on, on tape, it's really strong, but the live show needs a little bit of work, and we're still working on it. Um, what we're doing now with, with his new manager is we're coming up with ideas to, because he's one person on stage, right? So, we're coming up with concepts to actually enhance the show. Um, with visuals and, and thinking a little bit more about stage design and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've always underplayed Oliver. We've never overexposed. We've been really strategic with what festivals because it is a delicate performance and it's a different style of music. It's not party bangers. It's actually, it soundscapes and it builds and it's atmospheric. So it's really about the place and the time and, and how he's viewed. So that's what, something that we've been really, really careful of and, um, and have focused heavily on. And I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna maintain that. And so the rooms, now that we're stepping up and doing metro theatres and corner hotels and stuff like that, we still need to create a little bit more of an intimate vibe, even though we're stepping up capacity. So, um, like I say, the visual aspect and, and the stage design, all that kind of stuff, that's where it comes into play. That was four years in the making. Scott McLaughlin, the manager, saw her when she was 12 and signed her to a development deal with the label that was working with, working for Universal. Um, and it was four years of songwriting workshops and matching her with certain people and just really developing her as, as a writer and as an artist. And then, um, you know, there's, there's no set structure, there's no set um, game plan or anything like that, really like timing has a lot to do with things and it was, you know, the EP came out, obviously picked up a lot of traction, Rolls is, you know, it's five times platinum now in Australia, um, yeah, I wish there was like a, this is how you do it, but it's not, you know, it's, you know, from a live point of view, it's been really about underplaying Lord, and same with Oliver, as I mentioned before, it's really been about underplaying, and yes, we can do 
let's say we can do 10,000 tickets, but maybe we won't do 10,000 tickets, maybe we'll only do 6,000 tickets and leave 4,000 tickets for next time and have somewhere to go to and have something to come back to. So that's been really, um, really important with Lord and, um, and a lot of other artists like that as well. I think it's been a little bit more strategic and saying no a lot more. That's kind of it. Mm. It's, um, it's a really good team. There's a lot of guys my age and um, and a lot of a lot of forward thinking, a lot of creative thinking. It's I personally, you know, in the four years I've been working here, I, I've never felt better as being part of this team. It's actually really it's a really, really good bunch of guys and girls and um, it feels good. Yeah.